Hey Gemini, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Um, this is going to be your general November reading. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and get started here. There will be an extended to this over on Patreon. So if you guys are interested, the information is going to be down below. You'll start off asking a yes or no question. And then I'll get into some clarification. And then I'll pull some marbles for you guys. Wow. Okay, looking good. Looks like there could be a new connection where there's like you're seeing eye to eye with someone here in the month of November. Some of you, you're waiting on something. You're waiting on some news about money or you're waiting on something to grow in work or business. Okay. What else is happening here for Gemini? That's what you need to ground. So ten of wands. Your stability. Wow, you guys. That's a major twist with the Ten of Wands is what you need to ground and the Ten of Pentacles is showing up for your stability. Yeah, absolutely. You know, in the Seven of Pentacles, like that's that's showing up for your thoughts. Somebody here could have Saturn and Taurus. Um, but yeah, you're waiting on something to come in and you're not going to expect it when it does because it's sitting right there at your foot. If you notice in the card, the figure there is sitting right at his foot, but he's looking at, you know, what he's invested here. So it's almost like you guys have been waiting on something for so long that you're not going to expect it to come in when it does. It's like you feel like you have so much more work left to do. Um, but we're going to get into the clarifying here in just a second. But I really like that turnaround for you guys and your earth energy. So let's go ahead and keep going here, Gemini. Let's look at your emotions. And this could also pick up on the emotions of people you're connected with here. The Knight of Wands. Okay. Yeah, you're feeling motivated. You're feeling driven here. All right. So I feel like something really um, amps you up. All right. Here in the middle of November. And what's your intuition trying to tell you? And then we'll get into your fire energy. Nine of Cups. Okay, so there could be someone entitled around you here. This could just be telling you that your wish fulfillment is coming in. Like what you're waiting for, what you're wishing on, it's it's coming in. Okay, some of, some of you, they're telling you to look around you. Okay, because those cups are surrounding that figure there, but they're in the background. Okay, you can't really see them. But sometimes I can talk about a support system. All right, so uh, I feel like you're a lot closer to your goals than you think is what I want to say here. Yeah, and I just saw 222 as I was saying that. I was looking over at the camera. Let's look at your creation. All right, I'm getting two there. Wow, King of Cups and the Fool. Yeah, you guys are definitely going after new love for some. For others of you, this is just a creative project here. Some of you, it's some really, really deep healing, okay? But very powerful energy there overall. Let's look at your destruction. Let's look at what you're destroying here. Justice, okay? I'm getting this a lot. All right, I'm getting this energy a lot of people who are letting go of the desire for revenge, like feeling like, they're not worried about getting even anymore. They're only worried about getting what they deserve, like what's meant for them, okay? Not really necessarily what's even in terms of like the way that somebody's done you. Like you know that you're going to get even regardless. You don't have to sit and watch it, wait for it, try to create it yourself. Like it's going to happen and you need to pay attention to what you need to work on here. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. Let's go ahead and clarify your air energy. I talked about the seven of pentacles as your thoughts. You guys waiting on something here. But you have the Two of Cups for your communication. So I definitely feel like there's a soulmate connection here. So this could be new. It could be someone that, you know, you're already connected with. You're seeing eye to eye with them on something you've been struggling with. Wow, the star. This could be an Aquarius, but there's major healing here. All right. For those of you where this is new, like that's going to be super exciting for you. Okay. New direction. So let's look at your earth energy because what you need to ground is the Ten of Wands. So this can be a card of, um, you know, he's got all those all those wands in front of his face. He can't even really see where he's going. He can't see the castle in the background there that he's headed right towards. Sometimes I can talk about being so focused on the trees that you can't see the forest, aka being really focused on the small details and not really looking at the bigger picture of things, which is that you are very, very close to this Ten of Pentacles because that's showing up for your stability. All right. So let's look at that. Page of Swords, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of work you've done on learning something here, like learning the ins and outs of something, learning every tiny detail here. That's why I feel like you guys are in a space where you feel like there's so much more left to go. It's like there's a dreadful energy about you. I think that's why the Seven of Pentacles is showing up in your thoughts. 
the Ten of uh, Wands is showing up and what you need to ground. It's like you feel like there's so much work here. You feel like there's so much more to be learned. Um, and, you know, I feel as if you guys are in a space where you're hitting that Ten of Pentacles before you expect to hit it, okay? Now, you have the Knight of Wands showing up as your emotions, all right? So adventurous, passionate, okay? Something is... Um, lighting you on fire here like something's really inspiring you to keep going and it could be this two of cups whoever that is communicating with you they could be saying something um that really moves you here because the star card can talk about inspiration and then you have that nine of cups showing up for what your intuition is trying to tell you some of you i do feel like there is an entitled energy here or somebody who's out to take from you for others of you i do feel as if they're trying to tell you that like you're supported you're back and supported in what you're doing here you're very close keep going okay clarify the water energy please for gemini for the month of november Clarify the water energy, please, for Gemini for the month of November. Clarify the water energy for Gemini, please, for the month of November. Getting two here. Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups, okay? So two nines. Like I said, you guys, like there's potential for, there's potential for someone to rush in here and take some, something from you. That could be why the Knight of Wands is here. So just keep that in mind. I just saw 555 five, five on the camera. Fives talk about chaos, conflict, change, also personal freedom and adventure. And I feel like you're in a space where you're having to choose between somebody who's coming in and trying to take from you. They, they have a really gentle energy about them. So keep that in mind. They seem very genuine, very gentle, kind, um, supportive, you know. They seem like they mean really well. And I feel as if this is going to be a person who is, I don't want to really say that they're above you, but they could know a little bit more than you in some area, okay? So that could be a clue for some of you. They're, they're trying to guide you, but I feel like they're really trying to guide you away from that 10 of Pentacles. This is somebody who feels like there's not enough to go around. So um, that's the energy that I feel them in, and I feel like they could be in your surroundings, like in your physical environment, just because you have the two nines showing up here. So nine of swords, like there's potential for this energy to take place here, you guys. So just be careful when it comes to who you're um, connecting with here. Now, if you can intuitively feel this energy out, um, if you already know who this is, is. like I feel like I've dropped some hints here like um, again I feel like they're trying to guide you they seem very genuine they seem um, you know really kind that's that's the kind of energy that I feel here just somebody who's guiding you away from that ten of pentacles you know it's like whatever they're telling you you're like well that doesn't seem to make sense but you know a little bit more than I do about it that's the kind of energy that I feel this person is trying to put you in uh, to where you don't even question them okay uh, but like I said before the nine of cups your intuition is uh, is trying to tell you you know that you're very close to this keep going um, keep doing what you're doing because it's working you got the ten of cups moving from the nine to the ten of cups that's ultimate fulfillment all right but you guys are definitely in an energy of closing something out here Gemini you've got the ten of wands the ten of pentacles the ten of cups it seems like some of you are just closing a deal here possibly with a fellow air sign all right so let's look at your fire energy Let's look at your fire energy and clarify that, please. What's that one poking out? Seven of Wands, beating the odds, standing out, okay? I also feel as if you guys are blocking out this energy, like I said, of trying to get even. You know, with the Five of Swords here, this can be a petty card of somebody who will win at all costs. And while that can be a good thing in this situation with your Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, I'd like for some of you, you've been in a space where you've been watching and waiting for somebody to get karma here, um, or you've been watching and waiting for somebody to bring you their truth in a situation. And I feel like you're moving into a space where you're accepting um, your your own truth. You're accepting what, what you know uh, as truth right now at this point in time. You're not waiting on clarity. You're creating clarity. For others of you, like I said, I feel as if you're in a space where you are standing out. You're beating the odds. You're doing something different than anyone else has done it. So I actually love this for you, Gemini. This is really powerful, okay? Especially this twist right up here from the Ten of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles. Something big is turning around for you in the area of money, work, business, stability. This could even be the home, okay? Commitments. Um, so I love that. Go ahead and get your yes or no question ready if you're joining me on patreon then we'll start clarifying a little further get into some marbles but if this is where we part thank you all so much for watching and supporting me and you enjoy your month bye